working in an open source project can help you to get job and internship very quickly because recently what you have noticed like if you are applying for a job and internships and all the companies are looking for experienced developer maybe the role is very simple but they want the developer to have experience of two years one year experience and how you develop that because you are a complete beginner you have just learned the technology you are spending your six month time and you have grasped all the skills and you can see that you can easily be able to fulfill the requirement which they want but still they want two years experience and the reason why they want you to have this two years experience because you don't have the industry exposure so there is a difference between when you are learning something and when you are actually working on a real world project so that's the difference and that's why most of the company is looking for an experienced developer okay when they talk about the experienced developer they exactly want that you have work on some sort of project in the past which actually a production ready okay that exactly what what they mean so if you have built any production ready application in the past you can simply show that in your interview in your resume and they can easily able to hire you because when i hire someone for any of my project i see what are the project they have built and on the basis of that i simply hire for the project because it doesn't mean that how many of years of experience you have if you have built the project and that's production ready you will be hired so let's come back to the topic that if you are a complete beginner you have just started and you have given you of three months four months and you have learned the technology but still you are not getting job and internship so in that context open source product are really helpful for you because basically what company wants they want you to work in a real world project so when you will work on any one of the open source project you will give your idea you will build some sort of feature into that and that means that your pro that project is already in the live version and you are contributing means you already have the skills you already have the knowledge and when you work on a open source project you don't need to build everything from scratch first you have to understand the entire architecture and on the basis of that you develop the feature or find bug so when you will work on an open source product it will develop so many skills for you working in an existing code base is quite a challenging task because when you will start something from the scratch you already have pre-built function so i have built close to 20 30 project so far like the production ready application so i already know that what are the features we can include into a app and some of the feature i have stored as a utility function so whenever i get a project i simply apply this function and the application is ready but if some other developer have built something else in that context what i have to do i have to just analyze the code then i have to modify the functionality and then I have to build on top of that so that sticks a lot of time okay so whenever any project come to me i say that i'm going to charge x number of amount if you want me to continue otherwise i can build it from scratch so that's the first thing it will develop your like skill development skill when you will work on the existing code base and the second advantage you will have that it will improve your portfolio because you haven't worked in the past you haven't have any opportunity to work in a production ready application but when you will work on a open source product what will happen that you are contributing something in the project so you can show that that this is what i have built so you can add that in your resume as a production ready application okay so that's the second advantage on the third advantage you will have that when you will contribute in open source project you are not the only one who is contributing like there are other developers so when you will work and build something meaningful when you will work and find some critical bug you're going to collaborate with them so you're going to build your network and in that way you will be high. you will always be in a higher position whenever someone like oh, those developers who's looking for someone to work on the project they're probably going to hire you i have seen that many of my students and even when i started in my early stage i got a lot of project like through the referrals through my networking so that's the important thing that you will gain network and the fourth one is that your resume will look different if you look at all the developer resume they have the same things like most of the resumes are identically copy for of one another so when you will work on some of the like open source project because it's not that easy and not everyone is doing it so something unique have you have in your resume and that will give you the highlight in front of recruiter when you sit for the interview and the job so you will get the highlight because not everyone is working on the open source everybody is talking about but no one is working on it on the fifth advantage you will have when you will work in the open source project that you will think creatively okay when it's come to building something from scratch you follow the same structure but when you have to work on a same or existing code base you have to think creatively that what are the extra features you can include if you look at the all the libraries which we use in our dab development like whether you talk about etherjs whether you talk about web3 model whether you talk about the like third web all of these what they are doing we are building some sort of feature and which we can utilize as a developer to build the functionality so if you talk about the third web what they have done they have converted the entire connect wallet function into single component 
so you don't need to write and build all of the logic so you can bring that kind of initiative so if you find any code in the open source and if you think that you can simply compress in a small portion or you can bring add some extra feature into that that's the huge advantage so in that way you will have your creativity that you can think creatively and you can add something meaningful in the project and number seven you will have a problem solving skill so when you will analyze the code you will understand the bugs you will understand the structure and that's how you will develop the problem solving skill and like coding is all about solving a particular problem you solve one problem then you go to the next one and you solve another problem so whatever you are doing so far that's all you are doing for the production ready application so that will give you a real hand experience so these are the couple of learnings you will get when you will work on an open source project again there is a lot of things in open source project and that will give you a huge opportunity if you are a complete beginner if you understand your work if you know how to code if you have picked any language you are working in a particular segment try to find out all the project in open source and try to give your contributions when you do your contribution even you can show that in your portfolio and you can target that particular company in which you have contributed so if you talk about microsoft if you talk, talk about in the web3 space we have open zeppelin they have their open source if you talk about chain link they have their open source you can simply go and you can contribute into that when you will contribute your chances will go way high for getting hire into the company because you have already done the work in their open source project which they are utilizing in their production application so you already know the work so it would be very easy for you and for them to take you in their team rather than taking a new fresher so that will give you an opportunity to work in an industry application very quickly so start looking for the open source project look at the code base and try to find out target a company which you want to work for look at their course base and work on it okay just contribute if you don't get a job, if you don't get the internship, you will build your like learning skill. You will understand better and you're going to build better project and you become a better developer. So that's how the development take place. One day you wake up and you will feel like a experienced developer, a good developer. And you feel like that you will get a job and internship. That's not going to happen. It's a process. So you have to follow the process. You have to find out all the possible way which you can utilize it to get a job and internship. And it is one of the way which you can do it because not everybody is good in marketing. Not everybody is good in communication. So if you really want to become uh, visible in the marketplace, in the industry, then you have to show your skills. You have to contribute in you know, all of this project. Okay. So you have to do all of this. And this is one of the way which you can do it. Soon I'm going to release a list of open project, which you can definitely contribute. And I'm going to list out all the project both belongs to the web 3 and web 2 mostly i'm going to follow to the web 3 one where we're going to talk about the open source for the smart contract that what extra features you can include because if you look at the smart contract they have the basics and the same repetitive thing how you can utilize those smart contract to convert into npm package and compress it so soon i'm going to release all the list of open source so you guys can have a look and if you think if you guys think that you need to contribute into that definitely you can do that and soon i'm going to launch an open source project and where we're going to build like all the web3 features together it's going to be an mpn package where we're going to build all the basic contracts web3 packages like connecting wallet connecting with the blockchains all of the things we're going to build it together so make sure to have a look on all the project and that will give you a better idea don't don't sit and wait for the opportunity to come and get an internship and a job try to go in the marketplace and try to search for it spend your time spend less time on instagram watching reels i know a lot of you do that don't spend your time. Try to find out the relevant resources for yourself. That will give you the benefit. So that's the only thing I want to talk about. Hope you guys have got an idea that how you have to proceed and what are the advantages you will have and who can follow this. Okay? Who can follow this? So with that, I'm ending this video. If you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. That will motivate me a lot to come up with this tutorial. And I have released a lot of projects. So if you're a complete beginner, make sure to follow that. Follow the complete course on Solidity, where I have talked about every single thing which you have to know about the Solidity programming language. We have close to 30 projects related to DAB. You can follow all of that in that you will master a smart contract, blockchains, you will master React, Next.js, all the things you will master. So build all the project that will save a lot of your time and that will make you industry ready. So you can start promoting yourself like those who are looking for a developer who can build their project. Definitely they can find you and they will give you the work. So hope this video is valuable for you. If you have any question and doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make a video on that. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.